Now, this your girl Shaquilla coming to you loud, loud, and in color. And I wanted to do a story time. And this is, the title of this story time is Why I'm Afraid of the Dark. Okay. It all started back in fifth grade. Um, a lot of you don't know, but I was in special education. They put me in special education all because I'm in a wheelchair. Go figure. But anyway, and there was this guy in class along with this girl. They would come behind me while I'm sitting down, and they would punch me in my back. And they would always punch me in my shoulders and stuff. And so the guy, you know, he wanted me to stay in fear of him. And so, he told me if I ever told my mama what he was doing to me in class, he would find where I live, he would kill my family, but before he did that, he would rape me, and it would be at night, so I wouldn't know when he was coming, or I wouldn't see him coming. And... He would, after he raped me, he would make me watch as he killed my family. So I never told anybody. And it took a long time for me to tell my mama, first of all, she found out because I went to get in the tub and she found, she saw a lot of bruises on my back. She ended up going to the school to find out what was going on and the principal and my mom that that day found out that I tried to tell the teacher. The teacher wouldn't listen to me at all when I tried to tell her what was going on. And um, she ended up getting fired. The boy, he ended up going to YDC. And so that's why I'm afraid of the dog. I'm, I'm afraid to sleep in the dark at night. Um, if, if I'm with somebody at night, like driving in the car, I'm fine. But as far as me sitting in the car by myself at night, I can't do it. I can't sleep in the dark. I have to have a TV on. I have to have some kind of light in my bedroom. All because of what was told to me when I was in the fifth grade. The guy told me he would rape me. And um, he threatened me with that every day. If I ever told anybody he would rape me. And he would watch. Well, he would make me watch as he killed my family. And then he would rape me again and kill me. So, I'm 38 years old today. And I'm still kind of, sort of, well, yeah, I'm afraid to sleep in the dark. So, if my TV was to ever go off at night, I would freak out. Um, now, if my TV was off, there would have to be some kind of light shining in my bedroom. It cannot be pitch black dog. I, I cannot do that. I will freak the hell out. Um, I try, I, I've tried over the years to deal with my fear of being a dog, but it has not worked. Um, if my mom has to go out of town or somewhere like that, and I'm in the house and I'm asleep, she didn't just leave me a note. Do not wake me up, because if she wake me up in this pitch black dog, I will not go back to sleep at all, because I get paranoid. So, yeah, I cannot be left at home at night by myself, you know, but if I do be left at home at night, I, I make sure that, that there's some light on in my bedroom, and I make sure I have my, my, my pocket knife close by just in case I need to defend myself. But that's my story time of why I'm afraid of the dog. Make sure you comment down below, subscribe, hit that bell, and be notified when I do a video. So until next time, like I always say, y'all, have fun playing with your nails. Have fun playing with your makeup, if you will makeup. And y'all, please live life. Because God only gives you one. Mwah.